While internal components and features may vary by brand and model, the installation instructions covered are applicable for the Maytag dishwasher models listed. Model number may be found on the appliance's outer carton as well as on the interior left side of the tub. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Disconnect power before servicing. Replace all parts and panels before operating. Failure to do so can result in death or electrical shock. Excessive weight hazard. Use two or more people to move and install dishwasher. Failure to do so can result in back or other injury. My name is Phil Alley. I'm the product service manager for Whirlpool for the dish category. And today we're going to cover the new installation of a new model line we've got out uh, that's going to launch in February of 2020. It's a new design dishwasher from the ground up. So there are some installation differences from what you used to in the past. Uh, we're going to cover a KDPM 804 model today. Uh, we're going to start with unpackaging, so we'll get started with that. Uh, as far as uncrating the unit, there's a dotted line uh, all the way around it. We haven't changed the uh, boxing or the shipping method, so you just cut with a razor knife on all four sides, right at the dotted line. You want to stay within the dotted line. You don't want to go above it or below it. So once you get the uh, bottom of the box cut, just pull the box up, tip it over, and I like to use it as a trash can for all the shipping materials. Now we'll talk about this later, but we'll cover some installation tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. One is there's a couple uh, boards in the shipping base and in the top. You might want to keep those and set those aside. We'll use them if we've got an unusual uh, cutout that's a little bit too wide. We use them as spacers. You want to open up and remove all the styrofoam pieces on the racks. You can go ahead and tilt it on its back and remove the shipping base. And again, you might want to save these two strips of wood that's in the shipping base in case you need to use them as shims for the cabinet or if they've got a built up floor, you can use them as runners to even out the floor. Now the last thing you want to do is remove the protective film from the door. Another trick to doing that is if you start to peel it from here, you get these little shards of plastic that end up here and they're not very uh, sightly to the customers. So if you take your razor knife, and you just score it right against the inner door liner and the door. All the way up on both sides. It makes it a lot easier to remove that film and it looks much better to the customer. it pulls off. Now this particular model also has a piece at the top here that you want to remember to take off. It's also got one right here. And then anywhere you see blue is also a piece of protective film. And the same way inside on the handles. So you're all set. That's a complete installation start to finish on our new model line coming out February 17th of 2020. I referenced uh, during the unpacking portion that you might want to save the boards that come in the shipping base because you may use them uh, if you've got a built up floor or if you've got an extra wide cabinet behind the fascia board and you're side mounting it. These work great as shims. For example, on the side, if you've got a wider than 24 inch cabinet cut out behind the fascia board, there's nothing for the screw to bite into. So you can actually use the boards to shim it out on both sides to 24 inches wide. So when you slide the dishwasher in and you 
side anchor it, the screw has something to bite into. Also on a built up floor in an older home, if you put the dishwasher in, it's gonna drop down on you. So you want to use these as shims rather than just cutting shims for the back, actually use the full length, cut them to measure, slide it in. So when you slide the dishwasher in, it's nice even with the floor and you, get, you don't get that uh, gap at the top because it dropped down on you.